Hello everybody, I hope you are good. What's going on with Bitcoin? Well, I think we have Bitcoin under control here because we are understanding the moves, okay? So let me go through what is happening. Um, remember the from the first video, I think it was around here on Monday, yeah, it was on Monday. And we saw that Bitcoin came uh, to 29,200, but we knew that there was a lot of liquidations at this level, at 29,100, and Bitcoin went high just to come back lower again, because in this little bounce, people were expecting that this was the bottom, so that they were going to open long positions, and therefore, they were going to set their stop losses and liquidations below the previous support, which is 29,100. Fine. Asia went low stop hunt to this area 29,100 all that liquidation is taken and then it reverses okay then at this moment yesterday it was during the london session we were talking about the potential trading session pattern which is asia pumps or dumps then london might hold and then new york might reverse or we also talk about the possibility that if london didn't hold then they were going to attack this liquidity pool over here Fine, that's what happened. Bitcoin just went up during the London session. You can see here, that's at 11 UTC, t UTC time in the London session. Goes up to this liquidity pool, ranges potential M formation here. Okay, and then it comes back down again. Where to? To the Asian pump. Okay, look at this. This is... On Tuesday, 1 a.m. UTC time, that's when Asia opens the session and they just came back lower. This is what I told you guys. I didn't like this pump. Don't trust Asian pumps. Okay. I've been telling you this for months, years, I don't know for how long. Just don't trust the Asian pumps because they tend to get retraced. And I told you specifically, it usually happens either in the next New York session or in the next Asian session and it happened in the next Asian session this time okay so that's something that we considered now let's see what it might be happening well the first thing that comes to my mind is the possibility of the trading sessions pattern playing out so I'm gonna draw this scenario again okay um, let me draw first the Asian session here it is from 1 to 8 and then the London session, the one we are currently on, up till two, and the New York session. Okay, let me go to the 30 minutes time frame so we can see it more clear. I made this look nicer for you guys. <laughs> now you can see Asia doomed. We might be looking for London to hold. Let's see what's going on there. And then if London holds, we could see New York reversing, but we are not biased traders, so we have invalidations. What's your invalidation? Basically, this box is the box I'm gonna draw for the London session. If it starts retracing this large candle, okay, if it does something like this during the London session, I'm not gonna like that. Why? Because then in the New York session, if I'm looking for a long, there is not much room to take here, okay? So, essentially, I would only trade along in the New York session if I see something like this. I want to see London playing in this area over here. Then, you can see in this area that there are quite a lot of wicks to the downside, which means that the retail trader thinks that this is support. So, at the start of the New York session, I would love to see a little stop hunt over here and a reversal to retrace this candle over here okay so that's one scenario i'm gonna be looking for today but obviously only if london stays in this box in the other hand if we start seeing bitcoin going lower how low it can go what's the next zone let's go to the daily time frame here you're going to be able to see it very clearly no sorry four hours time frame Okay, this is a zone that we've been talking about and is this previous resistance that should be tested as support. So 
if we draw a line over here, that's a 28,720. That's a potential support. So there is nothing. I mean, I think it's very likely that sooner or later Bitcoin comes to this area. Okay. So, but we're going to go day by day, level by level. We want to first look at this potential long in the New York session if London holds that box. If not, we're going to look for this area getting hit. Okay. Also, if you go to the dollar index, Let's go what dollar is doing you can see that dollar is bouncing this could explain that awful candle for bitcoin okay but you can see that it has still hasn't come to these levels so of course this is still a lot of room for bitcoin to go lower stay alert okay because it's possible that bitcoin okay, what is my binance chart that i've seen it there because it's possible that Bitcoin comes even lower. And what I'm trying to say is that don't place your longs automatically in this zone without looking at the chart. Because it might not be tested as support and might just continue going lower or range in this zone. Then from here, there's already 1k down in Bitcoin price, okay? So be very, very cautious here. Then what would be the next support? We've been talking about it in the Sunday update on Twitter, but you have this level over here. Let me draw it for you. That one there. High time frame, previous resistance, you can see. From here there was a sell-off. And then it comes back again. And we see another sell-off. Okay. So has this area been tested as support? I wouldn't say so. It hasn't been tested as support. So What's is stopping us from thinking that Bitcoin could be doing something like this? Nothing. So please be very careful with your trades and trade level by level with invalidation and without any bias. And I say this because I know you are thinking Bitcoin is going down. Where can I open a long for a reversal? Well, the first thing is that you shouldn't be trying to catch a fallen knife. That's what I'm trying to say. Because yes, there is, a, there is more liquidity to the upside too. Okay? But we're going to go level by level, day by day, without any bias and using our logic. So, thank you so much for watching. I don't want to bore you anymore with my speeches. <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. And I see you soon.